What's going on you the tube? I am Hot Mess Ness, MUA, otherwise known as Vanessa, and today I wanted to share with you guys some of my indie highlighters. Um, these aren't going to be indie like Jouer or Makeup Geek, but more of the specialty hand pressed highlighters. Now I know some people out there, I've heard that there's actually drama within the community. I think it's like deep in the roots, like Reddit posts, and I stay away from a lot of those because they tend to be very negative and very bashing. Now I love a good drama video, I'll be honest, but all in joke, in fun, and sometimes you do find out a little bit about brand shadiness. You can choose to use it or not, but I heard that there's actually drama within the indies if it wasn't like handmade or hand pressed, people were real snooty and like, that's not indie. If it's considered an indie brand and it's not owned by something else, then it's indie. But these are like, real special to me indie we'll get there okay so i have of course some Luxy and some davina cosmetics in here this <laughs> this little one is so beautiful it used to be it used to be a pizza it was so cute and i dropped it i haven't repressed it properly yet but it's one of my favorites and i might actually repurchase it because i like it so much so I'm going to... Are you making fun of me? So I'm going to go through and share some swatches. We'll I'll have close-up <laughs> pictures here. So I only actually own three Davina Cosmetics uh, highlighters. I'm not actually a highlight junkie. For a minute, I was buying a lot of Andy brand highlighters because I was intrigued by them. And then I picked up some of these along the way. But I feel like a lot of times highlighters look the same. Or you find one that looks really good on your skin and you just stick to it. But this is Davina Cosmetics OMG, and a lot of times what I do with this one, because it's like, I'll like pop it up in here. That's what I do with it. This is like what I do with this one. I know, it's, it's super glittery. But I was also using this one for my daughter for when she was doing dance uh, competitions and stuff. If they were allowed to bring the glitter, I brought this one. So this is OMG from Davina Cosmetics. I also have this one from Davina. It is very similar to OMG, but it doesn't bring as much of the glitter. Hopefully I'm not picking up too much because I still have glitter on my hand from the last one. So it's a similar in tone. It's more wearable, but less glitter in it. And this one is Yaz. And then the last one I have from Davina is called Ozma. And this one came for free with a bundle when I ordered something from them. So this one has that pinky uh, shift to it. It's a really pretty duochrome shade. And the fun thing about some of these highlighters that have you know, the different colors in them, you can hit one side and get less or more of a specific color. So this is the shade Ozma. And these three are all Davina Cosmetics. Up next are Luxie. These are all Luxie Beauty. This is the shade My Hero, and this is a very special highlighter uh, because of what this shade does. All proceeds for this shade went to help a young boy that was diagnosed with cancer and help pay for his treatments. So if this one's still available, that's the story behind it. It is incredible. Not only that Luxie made something like that, but that she was looking into someone else. And actually one of her people that does you know a makeup page she follows and respects announced that her nephew had cancer and that's that's what inspired this shade so it's so beautiful it's called my hero and i will leave the video where i talked about this highlighter up in the cards now i'm not really sure which ones are which but a lot of looksy shades are dupes for things like whisper of guilt and other mac shades you can see on her page for more information on that. But this one is called White Noise. This one is called a cheek topper, or if you were a person of color, you could possibly use this as a highlight shade. But for me, it's definitely a cheek topper, and it is the shade Cheeky. could also be used as an eyeshadow. 
Rebel Rose is this one. It was one of her most like sold highlighters. I don't know what this replicates, but I know it, it it's something or it's just like it was a most purchased, most bought shade and that is Rebel Rose. This is the shade Guilty Pleasure. I think that this is a dupe. This might be the dupe for Whisper of Guilt, but I'm not sure. If I can figure that out, I'll leave that in the description box below. But that is Whisper, not Whisper of Guilt. That is Guilty Pleasure from Luxie Beauty. This is my personal favorite Luxie highlighter and it is the shade Mimosa. It just looks good on my skin tone. So if you are my skin tone, this one would probably look nice on you. It's a nice champagne. I think it might even be a dupe for champagne pop. And then this one is like back by popular demand. It was like an older one that came back because people loved it so much. It is the shade Fallen. And this one is really, really neat. Just like a special shade. It's got a lot of like duochrome quality, yet champagne-y, but not, I don't know. I'm not very good at explaining multiple tone on tone, but it's just really beautiful. And that is my Luxie and Davina. Okay, this is the original rainbow highlighter. This is from Bitter Lace Beauty. I had all of her rainbow ones, and then I had a couple other brands that made rainbow ones. She did this one and she did one that was more pastel and packed of glitter and it exploded in my palette that I had it in. So I no longer have that one, but you guys might have seen this one. It made famous on the internet. Jeffree Star did a video all about these. You know, everybody and their mom did a video on these and they really do hold the rainbow. I never used this, but I had to get it. One of the things I do like to do with that one when I have, I've done it as a whole one swipe eyeshadow. That has worked for me. This is a honorable mention, I think. I don't know if these are outsourced or not, but it is a really nice individual highlighter. And this is from Saucebox and it's called Nikki Beach. And it is just one of those classic, never fails you, good highlighters. I know it's out of stock right now, but I think they're reformulating, so. There's that one. Okay, so getting into some of the fun stuff. This is from the brand Touch of Glam Beauty and they had the most beautiful little pizza highlighter and this one really does, it's like one of those ones that, especially when I had a tan, it just looked so pretty on me. And I'm sad I don't have the pizza anymore. But this is Touch of Glam and it's called Pie in the Sky. And I'll have to include a picture of what it looks like when it doesn't look like this. And then I have two Touch of Glam. I mean, these are really just incredible artistry. These are from her Halloween collection. They were Nightmare Before Christmas. This was Nightmare Before Christmas, and this was the Pumpkin King. And they are so pretty, but they're essentially the same shade with just different, you know, designs in them. But these are too pretty. I don't, I don't use them. I'm literally gonna make you guys a swatch, and then I probably, won't touch these again. So it's got a white base with like purple reflex in it and the Pumpkin King. It's essentially the same one. Oh, it's actually a little more glittery. See what I'll do for YouTube. But yeah, essentially the same. Not happening again, guys. <laughs> like a rainbow of madness. All right, so these are all from the brand Broken Arrow Beauty and they have some really fun different out there highlighters. So it was kind of like when Anastasia came out with hers, I'm like, I already have those. This one is called Superstition. If you can see, it's got a really cute cat in it and it's gray and glittery and it is literally deposited gray glitter on all the other ones. But here's a little swatch of it. And it was, you know, a specialty Halloween one and that is Superstition. And I'll catch a little corner for you because before you ran your finger through it, it had an overspray of glitter. So once you kind of dust into it, it doesn't have that anymore. 
Then she had this ocean collection and it came with this big one and these four little ones. So this big one kind of is like superstition, but you can get a different color every time you use something like this. So this one was called By the Sea. And if I do an overall swoosh, you get some of the glitter, some of the rainbow, or you can avoid this little glitter section altogether and you get a whole nother experience. They're just really neat highlighters. And like I said, they I've had these I think almost a year. It might have even been longer, guys, and I just don't touch them. These one is this one's called Salty Kisses also by Broken Arrow. It had a beautiful little seashell pressed into it. This one is similar to the By the Sea. It's called Mermaid's Palace, but it picks up more of the yellow. And you could, again, hit certain areas and get different shifts from it. This one is called Sandcastle. And there is Sandcastle. And this one is called Sandy Toes. Those are all Broken Arrow Beauty. Now one of my favorites, I have to be really gentle with this one because this little guy just fell out, so I need to repress it. But this is from Beauty Escape Cosmetics and she had this deal where you could pick three shades that you want, she'd put it in a palette. So these are the three shades that I chose and they are Prima Donna, Fairy's Breath, and Sorry guys, I can't turn it, Wonderland. So this is Prima Donna, Fairy's Breath, and Wonderland. And I like to mix the two of these, or sometimes the two of these, because you know, one's a little too cool on its own, or they, they're just fun to mix like that. But these are my most wearable out of the more creative ones, besides Luxie and Davina, of course. So this one is Prima Donna, and this is Prima Donna. This one is Fairy's Breath. is Wonderland and I love this shade oh my gosh it's like a grayish kind of color but I like to mix it to make it more wearable on my skin tone because I'm not always I don't mind changing it up but I don't want to have it look kind of dark or shadowy where you're like oh that's funky these next two are part of that category they're beautiful highlighters uh, they don't have super fancy designs, but these are from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and I've got these in my beauty boxes. So this one is called Tropical Nights. I've run out of space. So here's Tropical Nights. And this is more of a creamy, foiled kind of feeling. And then this one is Frosted Gingerbread Cookie. I know that she's working on some new things within her company, so I think we'll be seeing more highlighters come from her. And this one is Frosted Gingerbread. So that is it, guys. These are my specialty indie highlighters, some of them that have really cool designs or some of them that are just hand-pressed with a little extra love. And I just wanted to share them with you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you want to see any of these in action in the future. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.